This is the image where we create in the beams of light the sun ray effect. If we just come over to the layers panel, if I come to the background layer, the little eye icon, press in the Alt or the Option key, that was the start image, that was our finished image. Remember, in the video, I said about putting it aside, leaving it in layers then, and uh, after a couple of days, taking a fresh look at it, and you'll be surprised what you see. Well, come over to this area here. I've got the hand tool selected, so I just need to press Command or Control. That brings up the zoom tool. We're just going to zoom into this area here, and taking a look, there is a fair bit of color cost going on with this image. So let's take a look. look at two different methods for removing the color cast, starting off with the auto color correction and then remove color cast. Right, we're going to come over to the layers panel to start off. Make sure you're working on the top layer of the layer stack and we're going to come up. We're going to create a new empty layer by clicking on the create new layer icon. In this goes, pressing and holding down alt or option. Holding down Alt or Option, coming over to Layer, we're going to drop down to Merge Visible. What this is going to do, it's going to merge all these visible layers into this one new layer. So clicking on Merge Visible, in it goes. You can release the Alt or Option key now. Right, Enhance, Auto Color Correction, and uh, yes, you can see there's quite a dramatic change in the picture. What uh, elements has actually done. It's taken a look at it and it said, yes, you've got a lot of greens in that. So it's taken a bucket full of magenta, which is the opposite color of green. It's thrown it into the image and this is the result. But come up to the opacity slider, clicking on the opacity, dropping it down. And as you start to drop it down, that's beginning to look a lot better around about that area there. Just switching it on and off. There's the start. That's with the color cast. There it is using auto color correction, perhaps dropping it down a little bit further into that area. I like the way that's working. Let's come over to where it says layer one. I'm going to double click. We're going to put in the auto and color. So we know exactly what we've done on this particular layer. Right. Switching it off. We're going to drop down again to the top layer of the layer stack. We're going to repeat the process of putting in a new empty layer, holding down that Alt or Option key and coming to Layer, dropping down to Merge Visible. There it is with Layer 1. Coming back across to Enhance, going down to Adjust Color, Remove Color Cast. Now when this dialog box opens, you'll already notice we've got a little eyedropper tool and it's asking us to select parts of the picture which should either be grey, white or black. Okay, so where are they going to be? Well, take a look around your picture and there's nothing that immediately jumps out at me as being white, so I can't see that many greys in the picture. Yeah, blacks, I think that area there looks pretty dark, pretty black to me. Just keep an eye on the foreground colour in the toolbox as well, because as we come up, if we select an area here, now this could be white, if I click down, no, it's actually showing me it's a grey colour, and that's not doing anything for the colours, so coming down around here, let's have up white flowers, that could work, couldn't it? Let's give it a try. Coming down, all right, a bit of green, but you can see the way the image has changed, just moving it very, very slightly. No, coming over. Let's take a look at its uh, tree trunk. Could be grey. Might not be, but uh, no. That's not too bad there, is it? But let's drop down. We're going to try the black. So I'm going to come down into this area here and just, once again, clicking down. There it is. You can see we've actually selected black. The foreground color has now changed in our toolbox. The magenta, very similar look into the auto color correction, but I think we can do better. So just, okay. Yes, that took me by surprise as well, as you may have noticed. But if we just come over, I like that the colors and tones that's brought into the picture. I think that's a good starting position. We've gone from this to this, just using the little preview tick. I'm going to click OK. Right, as we did before, come into the opacity, just dropping the opacity down into that area there. What have we got? We've got 57%. Just taking a look. There's the before, there's the after. Let's leave this layer switched off. Let's come to the auto color again, switching that on. Back and forth, just seeing which one's done the better job. I've got a feeling it's uh, this one here, the manual version. It just seems to be a little bit lighter. I like the way that's working. So, let's drop down. Let's go to the hue saturation. Double click in. This is the beauty of adjustment layers. These are the numbers we put in. Now if I grab hold of the slider, if I move this across to the right hand side, this is going to increase the saturation. If just take it over there and you can see, yeah, that's what it's going to do. I'm going to 
just had a thought actually, I'm going to put uh, 18, which was the number we started off with, back into this because I'm going to come down and select yellows. Now when we open yellows, you'll notice the sliders come in at this position here because these are the colours and tones that I really want to emphasise in this picture. I don't want to come into the magentas, so we're going to go for the yellows. I'm going to click on this slider here, I want the greens as well, so I'm going to click moving this across clicking on this uh, center slider there, moving that over. So this is now the color range we're working on, just moving that in so we come into the oranges and reds. Coming to the saturation slider, if I just drop that down, you can see there's the color range we're working with. You can make any adjustments by just clicking down, moving that in, and moving this across. And now when you take a look, you can see it's slightly different. Right, let's take that up into that area there, like the way that's working, switching on and off, yeah, great stuff. Click OK to it, and there it is. There is our finished image. Again, same rules apply, just switching it on and off, you can see the difference, but uh, no, we're using this layer as well, so we're just putting in, uh, just put in color cast, so we know we've removed the color cast from this particular layer, and there it is. Once again, put it aside, then look at it with a fair pair of fresh eyes, you may want to come in, you may want to reduce the opacity, always take a snapshot of, in your mind's eye, that is, of 57%, then when you make any adjustments, if you think, oh, hang on a second, that looks better there, at 63, you might want to come in and make further adjustments, but no, I like the way that's working, into the picture, got the hand tool, just need to press command or control, brings up the zoom tool, in we pop, let's go to 100%, let's switch this off, that's it with the color cast, there it is removing the color cast, that looks far more natural. Just taking a look around the picture, yes we can see a lot more detail is now coming out in these uh, trees, these beech trees there, great stuff. Command zero, control zero to go to fit on screen, go on, give it a try, I hope you've enjoyed the video and uh, please check out the original where we actually came and we added the uh, sun ray effect, the beams of light. Until the next time, it's happy imaging and take care.